السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي ربي زدني علما اللهم فقهنا في الدين آمين My dear children, how are you all doing today? We hope that you all are in the best state of Iman and health. May Allah keep you all protected from the evil of this world and grant you all the goodness and success of both worlds. Allahumma Ameen. So dear children, before beginning today's story, let's learn what is Sillat al-Rahim. Sillat al-Rahim means having good relations and being kind to your relatives and your near and dear ones. The one who does Silat al-Rahim, meaning the one who is caring and kind to his relatives and near and dear ones will get great reward in the year after from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But children, the one who does Silat al-Rahim will be blessed and rewarded in this world also by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The two greatest rewards for the ones who practice Silat al-Rahim are number one he is blessed in his provisions he is granted barakah in his risk now what is risk risk is not only wealth but it also includes skills talent time intelligence children and everything else which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses us with number two he is blessed in his stay in this world, meaning his lifespan increases, his age becomes long, his stay in this world is longer. The blessing in the wealth is that that it is neither coming from a haram source nor it is spent on a haram thing. Instead, it is spent on good deeds which are rewarding and beneficial. Even if the wealth is less, it becomes enough because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put his barakah in it. It becomes adequate for all the necessary things. The blessing in age is that the person lives a long life and has enough time to do things to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He leaves the world happily in such a way that when he dies, he is pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with him. He gets goodness and comfort in this world and gets the opportunity to do good deeds. Kids, do you know, it is the biggest blessing to get opportunities to do good deeds in this world. So whenever you get an opportunity to help someone to do a good deed, then grab it because not everyone is blessed with such opportunities. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses us in our risk and our life. Allahumma ameen. Our today's story is hadith number 320 from Sahih al-Bukhari. Abu Talha radiallahu anhu had the greatest wealth of date palms amongst the Ansar in Medina. And he prized above all his wealth, his garden, Bayruha, which was situated right opposite to Masjid al-Nabawi. The Prophet ﷺ used to enter it and drink from it its fresh water. When the following divine verse came, Ayah number 92 of Surah Al-Ala Imran, لَن تَنَالُوا الْبِرَّ حَتَّى تُنْفِقُوا مِمَّا تُحِبُّونَ Never will you attain the good reward until you spend in the way of Allah from that which you love. So, Abu Talha radiallahu anhu got up saying, O Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah says, you will not attend piety until you spend of what you love. And I prize 
above all my wealth by ruha which i want to give in charity for allah's sake hoping for its reward from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so you can use it as allah directs you and that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said what a fine present to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it is a fruitful property i have heard what you have said and i recommend you that you distribute this amongst your relatives and that abu talha radiyallahu anhu said wallah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam i will do as you have suggested so abu talha radiyallahu anhu distributed that garden amongst his relatives and cousins yes children what do you learn from this i hope that from today's lesson you have learned something which you can act upon easily we pray that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us all the opportunities and make us capable to do salatul rahim and to give presents and gifts to our relatives and friends and allah gives us courage and ability to give those things in sadaqa that we love the most allahumma amin So alhamdulillah we have come to the end of our today's lesson inshallah see you all next week with another story subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastawfiruka wa natubu ilaik wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh